We're going to put this giant overpowered racing engine into my Lossy 5T RC car. So this is the engine that's in there now. And this is the engine that we're going to replace it with. Oh my god, check out the size difference. That is going to absolutely rip. Let's get the old engine out and the new engine in. And then we'll take it out for a rip. Yes. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, I broke that off of there. No big deal now, because we put it in a new engine, but this engine is going to go into this, a DBXLE, whatever it's called, petrol gas. Now that the engine is out, we can really see the size difference. My god, that is a monster. So this being a much bigger engine means it's got a lot more power, which means we can gear up and put on a bigger pinion gear and a smaller spur gear. What that's gonna do is overgear the car and spin the wheels even faster. <laughs> Next up, we need to get the centre transmission out so we can change the spur gear. And now that we've got the engine and the gearbox out, check out this beautiful Taylor RC chassis and gearbox shock tower set. I've got an AGF steering servo in there as well, loads of speed and power. If you want to know where you can get the car from, the engine, the servo, the alloy chassis, all the other upgrades and all the techno babble, I'm going to put a link to all of that down below. Right, let's get this spur gear changed. So this centre diff file is a little bit runny for my liking, so I'm going to drain it out and put something in a little bit thicker. So here I'm putting in some thicker diff fluid and it should make the centre diff a lot more stiffer. What was happening before was the front wheels were just ballooning, all the power transferring through the diff and going to the front wheels. Now we should get a more even drive. Oh, so now with his new gearing, look, this cover is too small. You're gonna have to run it without it. Sorry, Lossy. Oh look, and it's still catching on this piece here. Beautiful! She's in, guys. All that we need to do now is mount the exhaust, hook up the throttle linkage, fuel pipe. Then we can start it up for the first time and take it out for a rip. But guys, check out this exhaust. What a work of art. It's even got a little silencer on the end of it. So let's get the linkage on first while it's all nice and easy to get to, get it all finished off, and then take it out for a rip. Oh, it doesn't fit, but no big deal. We have drill bits. Next up, we've got to get the exhaust pipe on. All that is left to do now is to put some air filter oil onto the filter, fit the filter, and then we can get some fuel into the engine, see if it will run. There we go, and ready to rip! And look at that with a body on, it all only just fits perfectly inside. This thing is just too nice to want to use, the only thing it lets it down really is this tatty old body. Here we are on location. Max has got his one out again. So this is the that's the stock engine, isn't it? Yeah, stock engine. So it'll be interesting to see. This is still running in. Well, I haven't even started it yet. It'll be interesting to see the speed difference. Oh. oh. First start up. Come on, pull it. What have you done there? I broke my leg.
Oh man, British weather's absolutely started tipping it down. So we've got to wait for the rain to pass. Then we'll try again. All right, sun's come back out. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, oh. oh, we're on, we're on. Oh. Body on. Max has got his one going there, so we're going to put the tick over up a little bit. Using the right tool for the job here, as you can see. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Man, once we start leading that off, that's going to get a lot faster. I'm no expert, but it does sound definitely lean. I think what happened here, the engine got so hot that it's running even with the kill switch activated. We cannot kill the engine. It is running off of pre-ignition or something. Wind turn off. What? That smoke pouring out of it. That's going on with it, guys. I mean, you guys are probably telling me in the comments all the experts. But the kill switch wouldn't work. Even the kill off button wouldn't work. No, I couldn't get the clips out because I think it would go mad. It stinks. I think mean, it's definitely lean, definitely, without a doubt, lean. Yep. I don't know which ones are high and low, but I think both of them are lean. So we're doing both. We're doing quarter of a turn each. It's cooled down a little bit. I've just put more fuel in there because the fuel was actually gone, so that probably didn't help. A little bit richer on the carb. Kill switch still doesn't work, though. I don't know why it shouldn't work. It's working on there. Look, you hit the button there, the light's going off. Max Max is on it anyway. Go on then, turn it on. We've got loads more smoke now, it's sounding more happy. There is a funny metallic sound coming out of it, no idea what it is. If you know, let me know in the comments. Lovely jubbly. Oh, it's got a runaway. Is that mine or yours? Yours. Oh, mine's done a runaway. It's done a runaway. I don't know where the hell it's gone. It's all the way to the other side of this field. We did get the kill switch working again. I think we had the engine overheated. It just got so hot, it just carried on running. After we started it again, the kill switch worked. It did show it off over here. I don't know where it's gone. Hopefully not someone's garden. Oh, there it is. I'm glad I didn't go in someone's garden. I hit the kill switch. It's right over the other side of this field. And it's off, so I guess the kill switch works. I didn't know if it was my car or Max's car that was going. I knew it was mine running away. I would have killed earlier. So there's the kill switch there, look. Hit the button, it turns off, so it does work. I don't know why it just ran away though. 
Why would that run away? Hope the throttle's working. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you know what caused it. I've got no idea. Kill switch works. The throttle's all working. Why would it do a runaway? Anyway, next video, we're going to put some different tyres on it. We're going to keep running it in. I want to really bash it properly, take it skate park, jump it, get it running nicely with better wheels. So let me know what you want to see. Next video with this car, that's what we're going to do. I've just noticed we've bent the chassis a little bit. I think that was when we hit that mound, it landed right on the back. Oh. It's also bent, the drive shaft looking in the middle. So we've cleaned it all up and I think we found the problem of why it did a runaway. So I'll tell you about that in a minute, but man, I bent the chassis. Look, these big bore engines are so heavy, people that fit them don't really bash these cars. They just burn them across fields and go really fast. My goal with this was to look after it and I kind of got carried away. Once the engine's running, I get all trigger happy. Um, I, I, I couldn't resist it. it went to the moon and the way that landed right on the rear end you got all that weight from this crazy heavy engine coming down on that chassis bent it i'm gutted the chassis is beautiful or well, it was beautiful and i really didn't really treat the engine properly i'm not an expert when it comes to running these i'm pretty sure i let it run lean it got crazy hot it really doesn't do these engines any good somehow it still works god knows how i just can't have nice things can i anyway for what caused the runaway i think i had it set up wrong so there we go radio on throttle is closed but if I turn the radio off to simulate it going out of range, watch what happens here. The throttle opens up. So what I think happened is it went out of range because the aerial is laying flat and these are not really the longest of range radios anyway. Then the fail safe kicked in and put the throttle on. Also, when the radio gets disconnected, the kill switch is supposed to come on. But for some reason, it's leaving the engine running. This light should go off if the radio goes off. So next video, we're gonna set the fail safe up properly. We're gonna try and set the engine up properly. We need some different wheels and tires. Anyway, more videos coming up with this car. We are gonna skate park it. I wasn't planning on originally to skate park it. I was gonna baby it, but I think we're past that now. So full on durability test coming up very soon. <laughs>